Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the acronym MSOOM, Making Something Out of Nothing, the class all about recycled crafts. Uh, my name is Kimberly Wright. Today is uh, Tuesday, September 14th, 2021. It's a wonderful, amazing, and beautiful day. Um, today, we're going to just go ahead and continue our works with our CD art. Uh, first, I want to looking for some notes that I had on a couple of topics. However, I wanted you all to know that, uh, yes, right there. All right, I wanted you all to know that uh, once again, anytime I announce holiday events or uh, holidays and events for this year, you're more than welcome to jot down any of those ideas for future pro projects, you know, DIYs, that type of thing, if they give you any ideas for anything that you're doing in life. All right, so today, September 14th, Tuesday is Hug Your Hound Day, National Ants on a Log Day. That would be a really good snack to eat today if you love uh raisins, peanut butter, and celery. Uh, National Coloring Day. National Cream Field Donut Day. Back to National Coloring Day. It's a really good day to sit outside and uh, use some of those adult coloring books that you probably purchased before and complete a page. All right, National Cream Field Donut Day. National wow. Eat a Hoagie Day. And National Live creative day, live creative day, or live creative. Let's see what that is all about. So National Live Creative Day happens every year on September 14th. And what better way to celebrate than to live creatively? Through this holiday, has though this holiday has been around for a relatively short period, its value certainly can't be overemphasized. We're bringing you all the best tips to celebrate this special holiday. So it says the history of the word is creative. What can we do today? What are the traits of a creative person? There are too many to list here, but one that stands out is the willingness to be different and stand out from the crowd. What jobs require creativity? The answer is every single one. Whatever your occupation is, creativity is required to become better at your craft. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between creativity and innovation? Creativity involves imagination while innovation requires implementation. Simply put, innovation Simply put, innovation is the application of creativity. So you have to implement something. First, creativity is using your imagination, but actually implement it is putting the creativity you know, in full course or force. All right, just do it. Deviate from daily routines and do something different. Whether you're at work or school or home, try to liven up your day. Rediscover a passion. Think of an old hobby and rekindle that flame. Rediscover that passion. Or share the experience. Share National Live Creative Day with others. Tell others so that they can get creative as well. Did you know that according to research, about 72% of people get creative insight while they are taking a shower. I don't know why that is, but I would just imagine that a lot of times I am uh, being able to think more clearly and um, gain insight as it pertains to being creative or things to do when I am in the shower because I'm relaxed and it's quiet. Uh, the shower is very soothing. And also when I'm like driving on my way to work, if I'm not listening to any type of really stimulating music, something like jazz is good or probably just 
no music at all, just the peace and quiet, listening to like the wind, the birds, the trees, that type of thing. All right. Also, new experience are new experiences are impactful. Experiencing new things can make you more creative. So, uh, you know, sometimes people might say, I don't do this and I don't do that as it pertains to, you know, some things that you've already tried and you know you don't like, but however, get out of your comfort zone and try some new things that you've never tried before. Uh, you know, break the routine of doing the same old, same old. And uh, that might spark your creativity as it pertains to uh, learning new things. All right, your hunch may be right. Research suggests that the subconscious mind, also known as intuition, might be faster than our conscious mind. It's good to daydream. Daydreaming enhances creative thinking, long-term planning, and self-awareness. And don't be discouraged. Most genius ideas are ridiculed when they first, when they're first shared. So don't feel bad at a little discouragement if people don't seem to uh, like your ideas at first. All right, so we're just gonna move on from there. And all I'm doing today is really just stringing up this second uh, wind chime. And so far, uh, this is going to be the centerpiece here. So as you can see, some of the beads that I've added already. And the reason why I've added that color scheme is because I have these beads that I made uh, from my pottery class. And they have like some blues and turquoises and browns in it. And so I just said I would add that to the center heart. However, I am ready to add to the top portion of the heart. But what I want to do, since I've already uh, made the sequence of how I want the bottom to uh, be placed, the actual beads. Yeah, I have a sequence of the beads for the bottom. I'm going to get those same amount of beads for the top. So all I have to do, and I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just going to work on this wind chime for few minutes to get the gist of finishing that piece. However, I do want to go on to uh, showing you how I plan to manipulate the piece for the world that I have. So I'm just going to transfer these beads over. And I'm just going to take the same sequence of beads to uh, but instead of them going in this order, I'm going to change it around. So instead of using this bead first that's at the bottom, I'm going to use this bead at the top. And I hope you all are feeling well out there today. I hope you all are having fun using the CD art or creating something out of the CD art. And just because I actually showed you uh, this particular project to be completed doesn't mean that you can't uh, be creative and, you know, go some totally different way. All right, so I'm just continuing on. My beat, my string probably is a little bit too long, however, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do or how long I wanted it to be, so I just kept it a little long. But I'm ready now. So making sure 
That was the next bead I had. I kind of got off a little bit. All right. And so I'm ready. And I'm just going to continue to string these beads. And after I finish this one particular string, we will go on to our uh, next project. Anybody, and if you have any things that you want to show or share, please feel free at any particular time to let me know. So I see that I did not pick up the particular bead that was the same. Let me find it. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. I got it that time. Because the reason why I knew that wasn't the right beat, because this beat is kind of like on the side, moving a little bit faster. Miss Betty, you working on something? Yes, ma'am. What you working on? You working? Yes, ma'am. Did you ever finish? Oh my! Your, uh, did you ever finish your? Uh, <laughs> wait, it's like every time I say so. You, you want? You was gonna say something? Uh uh no no I said I'm, yeah I'm working on. Did you ever finish your something? Uh huh. Okay. I finished it. Okay. Uh huh. I didn't ever see it. Oh, okay. I didn't I see thought it. I showed it. I mean, I think you was you were saying it was a couple of more things you had to do to it when you showed it to us. Oh, okay. Okay. You already put it up on the wall or something? No, ma'am. Oh. I I can um uh, I'll go get it. You can you can take that time, show it anytime just uh, before class or whatever. I'm just curious to see how it came out. Oh, okay. Are see. you working on CD art Let me right glue now? This. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Cool. You want to see it? <laughs> sure. It's not finished, but I can. It's no problem. I can show you what I have. Okay, I've done got that much done on it my, on my butterfly. Oh, that's beautiful. And then these are my those are my pieces that I'm gonna okay. hang on it. Okay, that looks really nice. So are you gonna do that butterfly mm -hmm. like both sides? Um, what you mean, front and back? Yes, ma'am. The large butterfly, that's what I mean. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I can. Yes. Yeah, I was just asking because as it hangs, you know, sometimes, uh, that looks really beautiful. Uh, sometimes you may... Thank you. I just want to say that one thing is when you are actually uh, cutting those CDs, sometimes your hands might get tired and start hurting a little bit. I just take a break. But however, you do have options for the other side that you just don't have to do with the CD or you could probably paint it. You know, you might be able to incorporate fabric or, you know, some other type of material. But if you just want to keep the same aesthetic, then, you know, as it spins, you'll be able to see uh, the right. CD shine on both sides, but it's like, it's still your option. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now I just figured out what I'm going to do different for the top as it pertains to, I'm going to do half and half and put those three beads in that came from the pottery class. Keep going on. 
So there's only one thing I was going to show as it pertains to the CD piece I was making with the world. And I know I said this week I was going to show you all what I was going to do with the uh, news, the magazine tubes. However, I don't have those materials with me, but you all know I rolled the tubes because I showed them all to you. Um, yes. Painted and everything. I just don't have them with me. But I was going to create the lattice, the lattice that's going to hold the family photographs um, on the piece. But I will definitely do that next class. And the reason why I just didn't even necessarily feel like I had to rush on that is because um, it's because uh, I'm still not finished with the rest of this stuff. So still always have something to do. All right. So yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the clock. Okay, let me uh, spotlight your video. Let me look and see. Oh, yeah. Okay, that, you know what happened? I think the last time you said you wasn't finished coloring something. Uh -huh. and I think it was, I, I don't know if the hands was all the way on there the whole hands mechanism, but yeah, I think you had to finish coloring it, but it looks really, really good. I love their skin tone. What does she okay. have in her basket? Cookies? She cherries? has straw cherries. strawberries, strawberries and cherries. Oh, strawberries Yeah, she has yeah. a fruit basket. Okay. Are you going to make a thing to hang it like a string hanger or you have some kind of thing on the back to hang it yes i'm going to make one but it does have a, oh, a hook. hook on the back oh that's nice Pop is yes that's to nice. hang it but i'll probably put a a string on the top to hang it with and you know you could do it with the like uh let me show you right quick. Uh, hold on, Miss Betty. That looks really good. I love that. It's so okay. cute. Uh, Thank you. All right. So if this was your your actual clock, I I saw you put your hand like uh -huh. right there, like saying you're gonna make a string, but you know you could do two holes and put like beads on the string or ribbon or you know, something like pink and, you know, something to match her clothes or something like that. But uh, yeah, it looks really, really beautiful. You can okay. do one string, you can loop it, you can do the two holes and have it going across like that. But that looks really good. You said you, Thank made, you. That, you, said you made that for Melody? Uh, yes. Okay, that looks good. Thanks for sharing that. Uh -huh. So I'm almost halfway done. And I just want to be able to attach this to the top so that you can, or to the top uh, heart per se. Um, I'm rolling this big uh, bead down from the clay class to see how that looks. It looks pretty good. And so I know I can keep going on. And I'll show you the work of putting a string on here and everything. Just a second. Uh, I have about halfway more to go. So I just thought that this thing would be cool doing earth tones, kind of like with water and a little bit of shimmer, since you have the iridescent colors, iridescent colors coming from the CD art. That's actually how I just kind of chose those pieces. 
And so for the top, I really just have to create this amount of beads. And then I'm gonna close that off, put it on the, attach it to the bottom of the large, oh, sorry. I'm not gonna attach to the large at the bottom of the, of the heart because we're gonna just move on to the world piece then. And possibly uh, at the end of class, I'll be able to stop our video and show a video of some recycled arts. However, the reason why I'm not attaching to the heart yet, remember I said to you all, I can't attach it to the heart until I finished stringing each of the smaller hearts that's hanging here because I have to glue each of them in between the actual two sides. And even like you, Miss Betty, you're making a butterfly. Your butterfly is much larger than this small heart. This is just about the size of my hand. So since your butterfly is much larger and you're adding uh, your CDs on it, you can just add yours to the opposite side because since it's larger, it'll be heavier anyway. I actually okay. did two sides to make mine heavier and a little bit thicker per se. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Kim, did you see this one after I finished putting the hair on? Uh, no, ma'am, I don't think you fit. Let's see. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah, the one with the eyes. Uh-huh. And I put hair on them. Yeah, that looks cute. I like because you got, I love those different hairstyles. What do you have on there? Can you put it, can you put it closer? I want to see their jewelry. What is that? What do you have for their jewelry? I did gold and silver. I'm Took saying the what, paint. You mean like a brush, a paint with a, uh, your hand and the brush or like a paint pen or something? Uh-huh, I did the, um, just the uh, metallic gold. Okay, that's beautiful. And silver. Okay, meaning you use a paint pen or you, you paint hand painted it? Hand painted it. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. And then that was, this was my finished one with the- um, The flower. Uh-huh. And the butterflies. Mm -hmm. What's your background color? Is it black? Uh, yeah. I like that. With I like glitter. that. Sometimes, a lot of times, people do artwork on white background, but I like the black background. It kind of plays with the colors differently. It looks good. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Melody. Melanie Kim speaking to you. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? All right, Miss Vicky, you got anything you want to share? You have to unmute yourself, love. I can't hear you. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. It's no problem. Finish it yet. Oh, wow. Um, I added some more glass murals. Okay, can I see the back? Is that wet? No, the uh, okay. the, the pieces of the um, CDs that I used, I tried to use the clear ones, but on the other one, on the star, instead of the moon, I used um, the iridescent color ones. Got a different CDs and paint, and I started with a black background and used blue. So last week when you showed that, you still wasn't finished with it? No, I'm not finished with it yet. Oh, okay. That's nice. I some more jewels and... Um, is that the back? This is going to be... Uh, each, each one of these have another back that I haven't put on them. So when it turns, there's another back that I've got that's still wet. Okay. Paint. I use paint from another segment that you're given instead of cutting out the moon uh -huh. I actually painted the moon in there and added some 
And I tried it out to, you know, like last week on these chains, but I'm going to put gold thread on the on the chains themselves. What are you gonna do, thread it through there? Yeah, the trick was getting this pasteboard to not tear. Uh -huh. um, so I put in little... Um, what little pasteboard? Piece Talking about your cardboard? Got a cardboard right here. Oh. See, when it's turning, you don't want it to tear. So I put in little hooks. Uh -huh. So that uh, as it turns... Talking about would, you put hooks for your chain to hang on. Yeah, for them to hang on and the tension wouldn't be on the pasteboard, it would be on the uh, little hook metal, metal O-rings that I added to right here. Okay. Do you have, yeah, uh, do you have any jump rings like from jewelry? Well, that's what I use some uh, old jewelry. I took the little O-rings off oh, of jewelry. Okay. Yeah, I'm not well, doing. I'm not buying. I'm not buying anything. This is stuff that I've had around the house. Something out of nothing, you know. Right, that's fine. I was gonna say that. Uh, remember, I said to you that you said you needed some bells. I do have the bells for you. So, uh, hey, plastic bells. I've been looking for some Christmas. I've been going through my Christmas decorations, looking for some of those little chime bells. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure to bring those for you, but uh. I was gonna say, if you need to use some of my jump rings, jump rings are just those like circles from earrings and jewelry and stuff as well too. It's no, it's no problem. I have my mother's old jewelry box that the sisters didn't take the old jewelry from. So I'm going to uh, break some of that apart. The old, real old stuff that's nothing memorable. I understand. Yeah. But it, it feels good because I'm trying to do it out of nothing. And when I, finish, <laughs> when I finish, I'm gonna hang it by my pottery. Uh, uh, we made one in pottery that's a lot larger. Right. But it's gonna be out on my uh, screen in deck, hopefully to paint. I'll spray it with some sh um, some of that um, clear coat. Oh yeah, so and I was gonna say one thing is too, don't forget that I've seen parts of your home on the video and stuff and I can tell how you display your art in a beautiful fashion but it's that's if you're not going to actually give your art you know sometimes to people you can definitely display it like that so when you have when you do have family functions or guests and I know people not doing that that much right now but when you possibly do it's a great way to entertain your guests by you know talking about your art if you like or just letting them actually just even view it well, I've, I've simply tried to display it in our everyday life. Um, and uh, you look behind me, you'll see on my bookshelf uh, different pieces that I right. cherish. Uh, they're integrated. Um, I try not to make more pieces, uh, and they're smaller pieces. Uh, yeah. That's what I meant to now, more smaller pieces, I because I used to I make don't sell anything. I give things away. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do, make more smaller pieces these days because I've made so much large stuff. You don't really have a lot of places to put that stuff. But uh, I, really, I really, really love your uh, wall, ceiling, hanging, or whatever, which I'm, it's really, really good. I love the designs. They're very unique. And just keep up the good work until you basically finish. I'm not finished because uh, I can see that I put as a, as I was painting, I saw I could match up some of the jewels that I have on the outlying areas. It's a starburst and a moon and a starburst. And um, I love the universe. So I think on the back I'll put, I'm painting using different colors too. This is yellow because this is part of the sun uh, and um, I haven't quite defined how the back will be. <laughs> well, you decided to, on that moon piece, you decided to play with the CD uh, cuts and make squares. Well, with the moon is integrated in the background is elements of the earth. Um, you were talking to us about water. No, hey. listen, no, listen. My question is, I said you decided to play with the CD cuts and cut squares. Oh, yes. 
I see you put the squares on your moon. That's really cute. On my moon, I use glass mirrors. I cut some glass mirrors. Oh, those are actual mirrors? Those are actually mirrors. Oh, okay. I thought you actually cut your CD pieces into- I have CD uh, pieces in there, but I, I made sure as the CD, I pulled some of the film off of the CD. Okay. CD no pieces. wonder they shine so, so much more gleam and so much better. I, the the colors that are on top of these, you when you when you crack when you cut up the CD, uh -huh. the, um, colors sometimes the film comes off. But I left the film on this one, took the film off and integrated it with the colors I have in the background. And I don't know how far I'm going to carry it. I started taking mirrors on the outside, and okay. I stopped. We have so many projects going, you know. Yes, ma'am, I do know. You're not one of those yes. one project teachers. You're one of them 12 project teachers. <laughs> my art studio, my art room is uh, a mess right now. So I've got pottery projects, painting projects. It's okay. I'm, not painting. I'm, I'm not always busy. I'm not bored yet. So I have 12 projects going on at the same time. <laughs> Poetry projects. Okay, you know that changed all the time. Yep. You're gonna have to hire me at the center and put me on payroll because <laughs> it's a full-time job. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to show you all. I did finish stringing that one. However, I have to finish stringing all of these before I uh, actually am able to glue them inside the two heart sandwiches. And I just realize that the larger heart I'm going to hang right here down from the center so it can center the whole piece and balance and then I'm going to only have two strings on the side so since I'm only doing three strings I'm actually going to combine this little bitty heart with this uh the next size heart and then maybe these two hearts together on the same string with beads in between them how could you, how did you get your um your CDs to be the same color? Actually, so I showed you all that in class. Give me one second. So on the actual uh on the actual heart project. I actually chose CDs that okay. were just silver. And what I found out was that, you know, it depends on, I really know that you have to purchase different types of CDs when you record those movies on CDs as opposed to just music. And I noticed that when I had those old DVDs, like with movies, the back of them had that more blue sheen. Okay opposed to silver so when when i cut them i just keep them all separate yeah these are the silver ones these are the ones with the more blue and remember i was saying to you that i use the blue with the world so that it can look more like water around the continents and i also use for my heart project i have uh the silver and for the moon project i had the blue and right here is the moon piece hanging up in the classroom. Yeah, okay, yes. That's nice. Good to see the old classroom. <laughs> yeah, so I just hung that up for a while just until I, I basically moved it somewhere. And since we basically still working on this same project. Y'all got to clean that place up before we come back now. <laughs> yes, oh, <ma> <laughs> no. so this is uh how that center piece is going to look this is the bottom of it and i actually okay. this is the middle really? it does. Oh, like those yeah. that looks good it looks a little bit long but i'm going to actually have it probably right here about that short you know okay. right at the beat so right now, I'm just going to go quickly into what I wanted to explain to you all about the world piece. You know, what I was thinking is we could find a daycare place and maybe donate 
to a de uh, daycare. I'm sure if you take that artwork to anybody, they'll love that you were donated because it's so beautiful. It's so professional that you can even sell it. So you could take that to a dentist's office. You could take it anywhere you take it. They'll be saying a doctor's office the, down at the courthouse. They'll be so glad to take it. Trust yeah, me. Fulton County, correct our, uh, you, are you using that door hanger to hang stuff? The uh, the handle on the cabinet to hang up, hang? Right here? Yeah. No, nah, it's just me to nail it. Okay, we All need right. to make it. Okay. Sorry, so you can see the blues here as I move it around on the world piece. Yes. And so to try to keep the shape of the continents, if you run into something like this uh, better, I was thinking of how was I even going to possibly do that. So what I'm going to do is, remember I told you all that I, I lightly, um, I lightly glued this paper to the pieces with a uh, glue stick because glue stick doesn't glue down that, you know, that uh, tough. So I'm gonna, you can already see that I can pull up the paper of Africa. I'm gonna try to take this up and the pieces that don't take up, I'm just gonna leave them there and glue on top of it. And there's like some kind of little hole in the on the map in the uh surface area of the earth of africa i guess they're probably trying to say it's like no land there it's water like right in the center there and if you see a lot of um art that a lot of people do of africa they usually use this as like a forehead and an eye you've seen some like with a lady in the head wrap so people make different uh pieces of artwork out of uh consonants and just different images period so i'm pulling this paper up and i've already i showed you last week where i went around the consonants with a white pencil so that i wouldn't lose my uh the actual shape and that piece of as you can see this piece of a uh, uh, cd that i glued down stuck to the paper more than the cardboard so i'm gonna have to put that back down where it's supposed to sit. And what I was thinking was, if I just put glue, if I just apply glue on this continent and put my beads on there, I'm afraid that the glue is gonna run out of the surface or the lines of the shape of the continent. And then I'm gonna lose my it's not going to look as crisp. So what I thought about was I'm going to just go ahead and put a line or line the uh, outside with hot glue. Once the hot glue cools, it'll give a barrier where the glue will have to sit inside of and it won't move. Hmm. If you have, if you have to go to any other, the paper there. I love the fact that you have the paper there, and I probably would have, if it, under my intention, my tiles might would be uh, green for Africa, white for Antarctica. Yeah, I use this clear glue, and um, I have some colored glue. And uh, the colored glue I found does not lose its color. I would have outlined the colors that you were talking about before. I, I love the fact that you have the paper representing each uh, continent. Yeah, but I just used the paper as a pattern to get the shape on there, but I don't understand what you were saying you would do. I couldn't understand. You, you are you saying you're making color? The, you already have the continents there in whatever, because some people are stupid, they don't know. Like some of us, we don't know uh, the, where each continent is located, theoretically. Uh, but if you had it hanging somewhere and it was representative of each continent mm -hmm. area on the globe, then the colors that you put there would represent those. Uh, oh, what are you getting ready? You're going to put bees there, you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What color are your bees going to be? Different colors? or Different colors. There's all different colors seed bees. 
Because in my mind, my Africa would have been green and my South America would have been red. And North America would have been multi. But red with what? What, what was you going to do? Paint it? That's what I'm no, asking. I would use clear beads, and South America would still be showing the writing. Would still be showing. Meaning you're going to put beads on all of yours? Uh, yeah, I would use different beads, but I would use the, a clear kind of bead. You would still see that writing, North America, but they'd be clear beads, clear colored beads. Oh, I know what you're saying. You would see it where you could see this up under there. Just America. because you're saying I have the consonants there, people don't know which consonant is which. No, we didn't. People don't remember the fifth grade. You're so silly, Miss Vicky. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing at the way you said it. They don't. You try to tell people where Afghanistan is now, they don't know. Where are you talking about? Right. So we have to get a map out and show people. We have a globe. When, um, like, my grandson comes over or something, you know, he's all masked up. He didn't know where Afghanistan was. We had to get the map. Okay. Nobody knew where Vietnam was. We had to get the map out to show people where Cambodia was and where North America is in relationship to South America. If you don't know, you just don't know. Yeah, so already I put that hot glue there, and I'm glad so that it doesn't run out of the, the area or the space. Like you put Asia uh, over there and Asia is uh, a, a big area of the world. Right. Russia sits right there above where you have the riding Asia. I couldn't figure, I really don't know what all that stuff is and, and, and what in the world is supposed to be. <laughs> right here, right above North America. I'm thinking it's Canada. this. That's, uh, it's it's, it's uh, the Canadian and the um, right to the to the left over there that you've got where N is. That's Alaska. Okay, I'm glad you uh, told me that. And you totally left Hawaii, I guess. And uh, <laughs> I actually just printed that off of uh, the internet, the paper. And then I blowed it up. So however it stretched out, I was like, it kind of looks weird, but. You see Mexico right down below North America. And you got that in, but I don't see it. Mexico. I see the, um, the Baja Peninsula uh, over there off of California. So <laughs> You've been traveling, ain't you? But Mexico is right down there in the Gulf. You see the Gulf uh, up on the North America. So I just said you left a little, but you didn't mean to get that definitive. You just said North America and South America. The little pieces in between uh, above like Canada. <laughs> You've been traveling, ain't you? I just remember the map from the fifth grade. I didn't drop some foreign kind of beat on there. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about Afghanistan and people don't know where Afghanistan is in relationship to huge India and huge China and huge Iran and then little small uh, 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 off the coast of uh, Africa, supposedly Israel. <laughs> Nobody knows that. They don't know what, what's causing the conflict. There's too many people on top of people getting on each other's nerves. You know how your sister used to say, stay off my side of the room. Yeah. That's what's Stop going wearing on. my clothes without asking me. <laughs> so now I'm like overdoing the beads so that they can go into the places that I'm just not touching. And then, you know, it's just like glitter once you that stuff dry some you just kind of shake it on some other paper to release the beads that did not apply and um actually after i load these things in here, i'm going to also give it a gentle press to press the beads that are down in the glue in the surface
And so if this dries today, not completely, but dry enough where I'm able to roll them beads off there, I do Asia with rice. But I still haven't figured out what I want to do for my other, uh, the other continents. But I think that's a really good idea, Miss Vicky, as it pertains to putting clear beads over the paper and colored bead cause, beads, because that would make it look, uh, you would see the words and stuff. That's a good idea. And actually, I was going to see if I had some clear beads to just see if you could see them, how, whatever you're saying, but um, I really don't I know. Have well, because that's how that's how the, the world is. It's a little confused now because uh, the Arab Republic that's over there in in Africa, where you just put all the colored beads. That's uh -huh. our our Egypt and all of that in that region. It's all mixed up, like the colors you have. <laughs> you probably would have to put beads on there like this and put them around the words and leave the words because yeah. once. Once I put them clear beads over the words, you just can't even see the words and the actual magnification through the beads distorts the actual words. So like you can probably go close. Oh, I, know you would, I know you would find a way to do it. Yeah, but that looks good right there because I, I love the beads that you're using for the continent of Africa. Yeah, but the actual shape of it look better once it's completely done. Like I said, I overloaded them so they can, I can make sure that they are actually touching everywhere. And um, to actually protect the beads from chipping off later or whatever, I will put a, a coat of Mod Podge on them. <laughs> I would call that the, the, uh, the beauty of the world or world conflict or something like that. <laughs> Talking about the actual piece? Yeah, because it's, uh, it's inducive of what's going on. It looks like it's in, in, inclusive of what's going on in the world uh, with all those different colors. And it, I, I love the fact that some of the blackness shows through the beads. What black? You got some black background that shows up through the beads. Are you, saying, like the beads, are you, are you saying the beads or the CD art? No, the beads. Uh, on the oh, you mean... Then, yeah, I, okay, I understand what you're saying. But it might black. look like that's black, but those probably are actually black beads. Okay, well, anyway. There's no there's no space in between them beads at, at all. Okay. It shows the blackness of us. That's what representative to in my head when I'm looking at it. <laughs> well, no, I understand it looks, I mean, that's a good uh synopsis or good perspective. And so here's my piece of Africa paper. A lot of times I don't throw stuff away like this. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm gonna eventually throw it away, but for this project, I'm gonna use it in case once I take them beads off, I need something to reference to continue to make my shape right. So I'm just gonna basically sit that to the side. And I was saying to everyone, if you had to leave class, feel free, I do understand. Uh, as soon as I said that Miss Betty Coleman uh, jetted, she left. I just played. But uh, however, I am going to end class. And if you have time to watch a video on recycled art, uh, you probably would enjoy it or love it. Um, thank you so much for joining Making Something Out of Nothing with me, Kimberly Wright. I've had such a wonderful time viewing your art pieces. And actually, I'm getting uh, excited and more inspiration from some of the ideas that I've seen you all uh, produce, Miss Vicky and Miss Betty. And uh, just keep creating and uh, I'll see you next class. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you. Hold on one second.